Hello, good morning. We are now going to find another derivative using limits. In this case, it's going to be the derivative of a quadratic function using the limit that defines derivatives. All right. So we're given the instruction that we have to find the, lim the derivative of a function using the limit that defines derivatives. The function we have to differentiate is um, f of x equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. That is the function of which we have to find the derivative. All right. And this is the definition of a derivative using limits, right? It's called the difference quotient. It says f prime of x is defined as the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the function at x plus delta x minus f of x, the original function, all over delta x. Okay, this is very, very important. It's always good to remember that. Um, and the, then, then the first thing we do is we find the function at x plus delta x by substituting x plus delta x instead of x in everywhere, in every place we see um, x in the original function. So we are going to find that f at x plus delta x is equal to three times x plus delta x squared, all of that, binomial squared, minus four times x plus delta x plus five, all right? And then we substitute into the difference quotient, into the formula, into the definition. And then we have the limit of, as delta x approaches zero of, and then let me explain here little by little, the first part here is f at x plus delta x. You can see that is it just put in there. x times x plus delta x squared minus four times x plus delta x plus five. Then we have a subtraction. It's always gonna be a subtraction because the definition of a, of a derivative comes from delta y on delta x. It's uh, the slope of a tangent line that comes from y2 minus y1, right? As delta x approaches zero. So it's gonna be negative, All, always gonna be minus. And then the second second part here is the original function that we were given, that we have to find the derivative of, okay? Just as it is, yeah, inside the bracket or parentheses with the negative in the front. And then it's everything's gonna be divided by delta x. In the denominator, we're always gonna have delta x, okay? Having said that, we proceed to use our algebra to simplify and evaluate the limit as we can, okay? So what we do first is we expand the binomial square. We say that a binomial square is gonna become a perfect square trinomial. It's this the square of the first term times twi plus twice the first one times the second one plus the square of the second one, all right? So we have a perfect quadrinomial there that will be multiplied by three in the next step. Now this uh, term, four multiplies, negative four multiplies x and four and multiplies delta x. So we get this, five, still the five. And then after the negative sign, we have to multiply by negative and we have minus three x squared plus four x minus, minus becomes plus four x and then minus five, okay? That will be uh, using algebra to rewrite our limit, okay? The next step is just multiplying three by the perfect square trinomial that we have. When you multiply three by x squared, you have three x squared. Three times two x delta x, you have six x delta x. Something important here is that delta x is one thing together. It's like some, some, some books call it H, right? It's not two variables, it's delta X is one thing. Then you multiply three times delta X squared and you have three delta X squared, right? Then the rest is the same, minus four X and so on, exactly the same as we have. Right now, what we have to do is add and subtract like terms, like uh, clear out with um, algebra, okay? And we are able to simplify our limit because we can say that three delta, sorry, three X squared minus three X squared is zero, right? We can say that minus four X plus four X 
is zero also. Five minus five is zero also, right? So we have less, term, less terms now, and we're almost there to evaluate the limit, okay? All right, now we have a smaller function here, and uh, what we have, all the terms that we have, have a term in common. All the terms that we have, have delta x, delta x, delta x, delta x. So we proceed to evaluate by factoring. We take the common factor, and the common factor that is convenient to take is delta x indeed, right? So we take common factor of delta x, and we have that. We have that delta x times a trinomial times 6x plus 3 delta x minus 4. And then this is very convenient, convenient because delta x can be divided by delta x to get 1, right? Some people say we cancel this. We have 1 and all we have left is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 6x plus 3 delta x minus 4. We have to evaluate this limit and we're done. So it's not that hard anymore. We're almost there. Okay. What we have to do now is just to evaluate the limit by substitution after we have gotten rid of the uh, indetermination, the zero divided by zero, we can evaluate by substitution. So we substitute zero instead of delta x. Three times zero is zero, of course, and we can get our final result. Our final result for the derivative is f prime of x is equal to six x minus four. And this is the result, okay? We can just analyze the result a little bit. The given function was three x squared minus four x plus five, and the derivative is six x minus four, okay? Uh, it's one degree smaller, and we can also find that there is a relationship between coefficients and exponents that we will uh, investigate in other uh, topic once, once we study uh, differentiation rules, okay? So this is it for this video. Thank you so much. Um, this will be the end, and uh, we will evaluate in the next videos um, radicals, uh, derivatives with radicals. Thank you so much. Goodbye.